apparently, in the old days, red meant you were recording and green meant it was on. And they kept that uh, in this thing. All right, you guys, what questions are there? Anything? All right, so let's go ahead and go on to the next part of this then. So on the next part, everything that didn't go to the income statement goes to the balance sheet. So cash, accounts receivable, prepaid insurance, okay? Why don't I turn, and then, okay, prepaid insurance, supplies, air assets, office equipment, accumulated depreciation, accounts payable, unearned revenue, capital, and you guys, do I have everybody's attention here? All right, capital withdrawals, and here's an easy one to miss. Down here, you have wages payable, so this one comes across here. Now, let me just check and make sure I got everything. So, I've got two, four, six, two, four, six, two, four, five, two, four, five. All right, now, all right. You guys, give me your attention, I'll, I'll give you up. Okay, here's the deal. So we add up all the debits, they equal 27. We add up all the credits, they equal 20. And they won't match. And why don't they match? Because the revenue and expenses are missing. So now, all right. Okay, Virginia, is that you over there talking? No. Oh, it's you. All right. Shelly? Okay, well, listen. All right. Well, listen, don't. Okay. Sorry. All right. Okay. Sorry, Virginia. Give me that. All right. You ready? Now, what we do, they won't match. But if you carry the net income or the net loss, put it on the side of the smaller, now they should match. Now, can anybody tell me why this last step is really significant? The reason it is is because. When you add the net income, the net loss, and the match, it verifies the accuracy of all of this, it's called cross-footing, but all this horizontal addition and subtraction. So when you have 2 minus 1 equals 1, 4 minus 3, it verified the accuracy of all of that. So just as before, and okay, so again, everything that didn't go to the income statement does go to the balance sheet. And the balance sheet in this case includes withdrawals, which is not normally included on the balance sheet, but it is on this case. The debits that find the debit the credits, then when you add the net income or net loss to the side of the smaller, they should equal, and when they equal, all of this cross footing, horizontal addition and subtraction has been verified to be accurate. All right? Do you guys want to do that on your worksheet? The work, they'll go to the worksheet. Exactly. They'll go to the balance sheet of the worksheet. Yep. Put up the answers.
to your uh, team members. Here you guys go. So the next thing you need to do is you need to journalize the adjustments. So let me put this here. And so let's journalize these adjustments. So what you do in the adjustment, I'm mean, journalizing, you just write the word adjustments and journalize them. Is everybody okay with that? That makes sense? All right, you want to do that next? And everybody got a copy of this? What do you want to do with this? Okay, journalize these adjustments.
Yeah, let's do this one just because the number changed in the work with. And what we're doing is we've uh, journalized these adjustments. Okay. And part of this is uh, I'm, uh, I'm reviewing the whole four chapters because we've got it tested on uh, Monday. So this is, well, you guys, what I'm doing here also is let's do a review and uh, you guys, let me, let me have your attention for a second. It sounds like people really need to review the debits and credits, because there were a number of questions on that, so be sure to review that. And let's take a little bit of time with this. We'll review all the chapters one through four. Uh, and uh, I want you guys to shine on Monday. Yeah. Can we have notes on Monday? Not on the test. Not on accounting. Yeah. How many questions are on the test? Uh, I'll give you the exact format, but on these tests, what they have is, there's usually, like, I'll be right with you, there's usually 8 to 10 vocabulary, uh, and voca it'll be 10 in this one, and what it is is the test will have the definition, then you write in the word. Okay, now look at the end of every chapter, they have terminology, right? And so the terminology, and that's, and, and that's where that's the words you're responsible for, and there's a bunch of them. Okay, and then after that, there'll be a number of uh, uh, multiple choice questions and problems. So be sure to bring your silent calculator. Okay? Yeah? Is there a practice test that you're doing? There is, and it's in, the, uh, it's in Moodle. And it's a practice test. And what I'll do is I'll review that. Uh, I'll organize the review around that, and we'll have it review the first part of class of Monday. I'm not repeating that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, you guys doing good? All right. So if you want to put that up there. By the way, the, the letters and the order may be a little different, just because it was done, you know, it's one of those things done in class, but uh, it should, you still should be able to make use of it. So you just write the word adjusting, then you do the journal entries. If you write adjusting, there's no, there's no need for any further explanation. Good enough. 